Hello, folks. I'm so glad to be with you again today. You know, I've chosen again, and I know that's not what I usually paint on, but I thought you might like to see again something done in the 300-pound arches watercolor paper. Now, the thing that I did with this one first is I went ahead and wet it really, really, really good just soaked it soaked it so it was a little bit bumpy and it's still a little bit bumpy but not much now the thing about the the 300 pound paper you don't have to staple it because it's not going to buckle the same on you now if it, in case it does buckle by the time you've painted a lot on it and you've let it sit with the the tape around it for 24 hours well then you can put paper towel underneath it and you can wet the back side of it just with a, a cloth, just dampen it. Don't soak it, soak it, but just wet it. And then you put another paper towel on it and put books on it. And so that way you can make it come flatter again and you wanna leave it for 24 hours before you try to take it off. And sometimes if we're having too much humidity, then you might have to leave it even more than 24 hours. But usually in Colorado, we don't have a lot of humidity. Now, when I worked on something when I was in North Carolina, and they have a lot of humidity, I'm telling you what, it takes longer for your stuff to dry. So it kind of depends upon where you are. Um, if you're in a place that has more humidity, it may take longer. Well, today I'm going to paint on this 300 pound paper and I'm just going to do kind of a loose thing of this arrangement. It's just a bunch of colors and I may change some of those colors but you know I just I just kind of wanted to do something loose and fun and let you see on this 300 pound. Now one of the things that you can do with the 300 pound paper is you can do it wetter and just kind of let it. I'm going to I'm going to start with wetting some of this and I'm not going to wet it all over but and then when I paint I'm going to leave most of my things pretty wet because I want them to kind of blend and uh, and something that's interesting about this that's special to me that little dish that that's sitting in it was my mama's great grandmother's yeah <laughs> And my grandma, um, Grandpa Wiley, was a senator. And I have a picture of him in this suit that's all the striping stars <laughs> with his top hat. Yeah, you know, one of those black top hat things. I mean, he was really dressed fit to kill to celebrate him being a senator. So that's kind of fun. So that's kind of special for me. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mainly take the flowers and We'll see what we'll do with that little little dish that that's sitting in. So that's kind of a memory thing for me today. Well, there's lots of colors in that thing. And um, I'm just going to start with some of this yellow. I'm, and I'm just going to... You, you think, oh, that doesn't look much like a flower. Well, you use your imagination with me, okay? Oh my, we may end up with some fun stuff here and we'll just do some fun colors together and we'll blend them together and just, I'm gonna do some orange. I see these orange flowers over here. And uh, you know, this might be a fun thing for you to do with a grandchild. And they don't, they won't feel so pressured. It doesn't have to look exactly, exactly like what you're looking at. But you do something fun with your grandchild. You know, it'll be a good way for them to learn to use a brush. Now, because I've got just a little bit of color in here now, I'm going to come in with my number six brush. And I'm going to just put some different colors of green in because with all these flowers, there's a bunch of green. So I'm just going to do some marks here and there. And because this is, uh, <laughs> you know what, you can just, just kind of see where that green goes. And wow, then we'll, we'll, we'll add some little bit you know what, it's hard for me to try to paint this loose. I'm not comfortable painting this loose. Now see here, there wasn't water over here. So that that takes the paint. Here, I'll do that up here and you'll see that. It's totally different when you don't have the water. So we'll, we'll have 
most of it pretty wet, but then we could do some of it so that it's not as wet. I'm going to go ahead and blend this out because, and see, remember when I was doing the, the dry brush stuff? Well, in a way, you can do that with this because you can just turn your, wet your brush and just turn it and just blend it out and just make little feathery things. So you can learn to paint different ways. You know what? Maybe it'll, maybe it's fun just to paint something just period for fun. Doesn't even have to be any certain way. Now, you know what? I'm going to come over here with some of this lizard crimson. I'm going to do this flower down here. But you know what? I've got to have some water with that. I don't want that without any water. So it's just got kind of a burgundy color there. So I'm going to add that burgundy color and I'm going to put some green around it and see it's going to blend into that other and we'll come back in and we'll touch him up but let's get some more green going. I want to mix some cobalt blue and some new gamboge that does awesome green. Now you know I really don't like to green, use green straight from the tube. I just don't do much of that. So I, I like to have my I like to have my colors mixed for my green. I do not care. Now I see that there's a bunch, there's quite a bunch of green right up in here. Kind of, uh, it's like there's, it's like, I don't know if it's feathery stuff. I'm not sure what it all, all is. A bunch of little berry things. There's all kinds of things up there in green. Oh, and that, that little thing up there with Oh, see that with those little leaves? Oh, and I'll, I'll add some of that. Yeah, that's good. Let's let's uh, let's add another one of those. I see some of that that goes clear up to the top. Yeah. Now, see, when we're doing this on a sheet like this, then what you can do is then when you get ready to frame the thing, and you think, well, I like it better on this side. I like it better from there. Well, then you can just crop it that way. So it's kind of fun to just go ahead and, and uh, see now some of that's dried. So now I'm, while it's still a little bit wet, I'm just going to put some stems in there. Not, not much of anything, but just a little bit. And it kind of, um, and you know there are different colors of green. So we'll have to, we'll put, we'll put some other colors in there. That are going to kind of blend with that. Now that's getting a little bit too, too patchy. So I'm going to add some water so it gets okay. Now I'm seeing there's a there's a peach color in there. That peach color that's a different kind of color. I'm going to see if I can mix up some of that with this poppy and this orange. I think I can get that peach color in there. Let's see if that'll be peach. We'll, we'll try that and see. Ah, oh, that's pretty good color for peach. I think it is. And then we'll do a center of that a little bit later. So to start this, it's just kind of your way of getting the thing going. And uh, since those things are yellow right there, I'm going to come in here. And uh, while that's kind of wet, I'm going to do a center and just a little bit of um, lines just I'll tell you what it's a challenge for me to not try to get to this I I want to get it I want to get it detailed I have a hard time I have a hard time leaving it without not detailing it too much so this is going to stretch me but you know what doesn't hurt us to get me stretched does it okay so I'm going to put a little bit of brown right in that little I want to I want to put that right there yeah and he'll probably dry up too much you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get some of this aqua over here now ordinarily you know you think well that's not in with the with the green but I think it kind of add a neat touch to do some aqua in there and when we're doing all kinds of colors, why not? Why not add something else? That'd be good. I mean, this is all kinds of colors. Let's put some more aqua over here. I think that, wow, I kind of like that. That's kind of neat. And I don't know if it's really like that or not, but 
I'm an artist, so I get to <laughs> I get to cheat. Whether it's like that or not, I don't know if God made it that way, but that's what I'm seeing right now, so I'm going to paint it that way. I like that touch of, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do some... I'm going to do some of this, so some of that aqua's back here in the background. I kind of like that. I'm just going to do some dry brush right in there, and then, you know what I'm thinking? Oh, well. You know, you get start doing this, and you think of stuff. I'm thinking I'm going to want to use my pen to just... Yeah, I am. I'm going to do, I'm going to do some more of that over here. See, see how I just put that paint on there? So now I'm just going to take my brush. I'm going to wet it and just blend it around. It kind of gives a neat, soft background with this other stuff. And we'll put those flowers in front of it. I think, now look how this is buckling already. See, it's because it's getting so wet. And it, that's just that's just what it's doing. So you just put up with it. And you know I like corners. I like the corners to be dark, so we'll have to come back in here. And we might have to do this a little bit different because all of this is so, so light. But I do like the that aqua shining up through there. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a little bit of that up here more so that that's my, kind of my top, top part. And you know what? I think before I go a lot further, I want to see how, how, uh, I think I do. I want to see how my grandma's bowl would be underneath here. And it's kind of a brown. So, you know what? It's kind of good for you to not just try. See, now you'd see I didn't even draw this. So don't worry about drawing everything. Sometimes it's good just to paint it on and if it doesn't work, then work it, fix it, okay? So this is kind of a low flat bowl. So I'm gonna just see if I can come across here and I'm gonna just fix this little bowl. He's kind of a big flat bowl. I don't know, I would imagine this would have been a fruit bowl. It's been used a lot of years and does have a little chip in it, but you know what? Doesn't matter. It's part of my history, and you know what? We're all writing our history, aren't we? So, now look at that, how soft that is, and I'm going to come down here, and we're going to make the rest of the bowl. And we may have to come in and shape him a little bit different, but uh, I think that's going to be good. That's what our little bowl is going to be. Wow, I like that. And you can see he's bleeding up here a little bit. We'll put something around him and make him look like he's had that on purpose. I'm going to get my bigger brush. You know, it's always good to work with a big brush whenever you can. Always, always, always. So I've kind of drawn that just with the with the, uh, the brown. You know what I could have done? Uh, w one thing when you're drawing something that's really good, if you haven't drawn it and you, and you just want to kind of sketch to what you want. One thing that's really good to draw with is your new gamboge because it's such a transparent color you can very easily, now see I want to do the edge of that, you can very easily just blend it out. So the new gamboge is really good to, to sketch something with and sometimes I've, that's just how I've sketched something instead of with pencil. Totally. Now see that's all bleeding because it's pretty wet so I'm just going to let it dry and we'll put that, we'll put a ground underneath it in a little bit and then I don't know if you can see but I have this little, little tiny vase that's right there in the front and it has some little flowers in it. That's kind of an interesting little vase and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix some elephant gray again gonna have some elephant gray so for elephant gray we're gonna do our orange and we're gonna do some cobalt blue and we're gonna make some elephant gray over here because see that's what you can also use when you do your uh, 
when you do glass, and that's a clear little glass thing that's got just a few little flowers in it. So that, I think that'll be a good little thing for you to see me do, doing that little glass thing. I did have someone that asked me to do a vase that would be glass, and I just haven't done it, you know? It's crazy when you have so many things you want to paint and you can't get everything painted. Oh, I'll tell you what, you got to get some speed on you to get painting what you want to paint. So, I'm going to I'm going to see if I can just do this for you so you can see this little little guy that's right here and see that's kind of damp there, so I'm not sure if that'll bleed because that little bowl was bleeding. But he's down here. He's He's in the foreground of this little thing. I'm going to sit him over here. And because it's being darker than I want, I'm going to blot it just like that. It's probably going to how I'm going to do that because I've got, I need to have more water in there. Let's see if I can put a little bit more water. Okay, so we're going to draw him up here. You're simply drawing this thing with your element gray you're just kind of drawing the lines if you look at that thing the way the light's shining through you just see part of it you don't even see all of it it's got a little circle thing up here and we'll put some flowers in it we'll put just a few little flowers this thing has been i've used this thing in my in my kitchen window sometimes with just little flowers you know when the johnny jump ups come you know the little baby 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 oh what do you call them the little uh johnny jump ups they're little purple flowers with the yellow that come in the spring well maybe you don't have them at your house but we've had them in our house and then they multiply but they are pretty for while they last and then when they when they start to go bad they then they're done for the they don't like too much heat that's why they're really in the spring but um, they're kind of kind of fun flowers to have well I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let that now see when you look at this and it's crazy when you start looking at it you'll see that there's dark dark places where it is and then there's light places so it's uh, it's getting the shadow I need to put the shadow from this bowl because it's kind of the shadow from this this little brown bowl that's here of grandma's because it's reflecting that well let, let's put a little bit of greens in there let's fix some flowers in that little thing so it has some green sticking up and then, oh, and, they, and then they go right down in the, yeah, they stick right in there, right in the vase. And because they're just silk flowers, you don't have to worry about it. They aren't going to go dry. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go up here. It's got just kind of a little bud of some kind. I'm not sure what that little flower is right there. Okay, and then it's got, wow, it's got these little flowers, these little, uh, just they're just kind of little leaves on that stem I'm not sure what that is and then it's got look at that it's got some rust flowers in there it's got some little rust flowers I think what I need for that is I need some of this brown over here I think this and then I may have to add some color but oh my I didn't realize you know what that rust it needs to have some orange in it that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some orange in it. I'm going to put some orange in it over here because they are more, they're more rusty than that. They are not as brown as that and they need to be that. Yeah, see that's too dark. That's too dark. So I've blotted it. So now, and you know what I may need to do? I may need to put some I need, may need to put some orange right on top of it. Or maybe, maybe some poppy. I'll bet it'll take poppy right on top of it. I think that's what it needs. I, oh, I think that's what they are. They're more of a poppy color than they are. 
and I don't know what those little flowers are, but they're little tiny. But you know what? The little tiny ones are just as important as the big ones. So we want to put some of those little guys in there. So maybe that's what those stems are from. I'm not sure. I'm going to use a little bit more water. And um, I'm going to get me a drink here in a minute. You know what, when you're painting, it's hard to make yourself stop and do something else because you don't want to quit. That's why, you know, another time I showed you about using my timer. And you know, I want some shadows on that. When I look at that, I see those shadows so very often. The shadow color that I'm in, and so while these are still damp, I'm going to take a little tiny spot and I'm going to do it at the bottom of each one of these little buds each one of these little tiny flowers of my cobalt blue. Cobalt blue is an awesome, awesome shadow color. And it just adds, it adds so much. Oh, and I need a little, I'm gonna put a little bit of that up there in those, in those little leaves, in those greens. And bring this down. Uh, and you know what, my water's dirty over here. So while it's dirty, look at that. That's perfect to reflect that little bowl, okay? I'm going to put this on here, but then I'm going to, what I'm going to do, because I don't want it darker than I want it, I'm going to blot it. I'm going to blot it with my, look at that. Is that perfect or what? Now it's reflecting that little bowl. That's good. That's good. Okay. Now, you know what? So now that this is mostly, mostly drying, I'm going to come back in here with some of the brown and some cobalt blue. Now look at that. It's gonna be dark, I know. And you think, oh, that's too much. But no, it's not too much. So I'm gonna come in here with this, right here. We're gonna do this right along the bottom, okay? We're gonna just keep doing it till it's the, what we want. Then I'm gonna take my other brush, my number four brush, right here, and I'm gonna Turn this sideways and I'm gonna pull it while it's still wet. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch the bottom part. I'm just gonna touch the top part because I want that bottom part to still stay dark. So I'm just pulling. Now see how I'm using my brush sideways? You don't pull it this way, you pull it sideways and you just blend that. Just blend that up in. Okay, I think that's enough. Now, you will look at that bowl and you will see that there is a strong little lip at the top. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come underneath here and we're gonna get underneath the lip. We're gonna come underneath the lip and we're gonna go like this and we're gonna pull it again, just like we did down at the bottom. And then we may we may need to come back in and add some more. But let's try this first because you can always do a little bit. Okay, now see, I'm just going to pull it, pull it. And this time I won't be so careful to not get clear up into it. But it gives you the lip. It gives you the little lip that that is. Okay, now what I'm going to do to make it just a little bit different on top is I'm gonna come back in here, but I'm gonna add some of this kind of orange and brown together. And I'm gonna come right at the top with this. That's gonna make it darker than what I wanted, but you know what, it won't matter, I'll pull it. It's just a little bit more than what I wanted and see that flower is kind of hanging over Now we're gonna have some greens hanging over now that we've got the start of those flowers okay now I'm now I'll just pull it again we'll just pull it again just needs to be just a little bit yeah won't be very much because we've already pulled it some yeah there we go now that's going to show the lip and still it blends it down into the other oh shoot that's good that's good, that's very good. That's not too shabby. Okay, now we're gonna have, what, 
we're going to want to have this thing floating. So eventually we'll put some dark underneath there so it looks like it's sitting somewhere. We want it to sit. Okay, you know what? We need to do some more flowers up here. We need... Oh, and look at some of that bright green. Oh my, some of that green. It's kind of a yellow green. That's a different kind of green. Some of those, that green and those berries, those are, that's kind of a, it's almost a chartreuse green, isn't it? Wow. I, I, uh, I think what I need with that is I need this aurelian yellow and I'm going to use some clean water because that's get my other water. It, that's good water for where I need it, but not right now. Okay, then I'm going to put a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Is that telling you chartreuse green or what? I think it is. Well, you may not even know the name chartreuse green. That's kind of probably from the 50s. Oh, I used to have a shirt that was chartreuse green. I sure did. Oh my god, that was kind of the thing then. Having those... Oh my word, look at that green. Is that pretty or what? So, I see, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fill it in all the way. We're just gonna put some of that in here and there. Oh, that I can see it needs to have some of this stuff up here. Look at those those berry looking things. This probably won't look like berries, but it's going to be that pretty color that's up there. And cow, you can't beat that pretty color in there much, can you? Wow, when you start looking at this and you're seeing all the colors in there, it's kind of a challenge to get all those colors in there. But you just as well take advantage of all those colors and put in many, many colors. You can't, you know what? There's some of that over here. I can't believe there's that much green in them. It is a bright, bright green. Wow. And you know, most things, when you're when you're looking at them, if you start looking at the trees and you start looking at just stuff outside, you will, if you really, really study it, um, you will see that there's usually three different colors, three different colors at least tones, but very often three different colors. See, I needed some of that bright green down here in this little base. I did, so I put it in there. <laughs> Why not, you know? Oh my word, this is, this is kind of beyond colorful, isn't it? Uh, but that's kind of what it is, oh my. Okay. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix a bunch of greens. Now this doesn't particularly show that, but I'm going to fix kind of feathery looking stuff down here. I want to have, I want to have some, um, like, oh yeah, oh wow, look at that, that's what I want. It needs to have a base. It needs to have stuff coming out of this. Uh, that that this arrangement is sitting in. You know what? Because I'm seeing this right now, while it's like this, I'm gonna soften it a little bit. I, you know, I did that on another painting and kind of surprised me. Well, maybe this will surprise me too. I hope it surprises me good. Yeah, see, I'm going to blend that just a little bit. Put the color in there and I'm going to leave some of the white. And here I'm just using my dirty water. That's all right. And I'm going to use some of this. Let, let's put some more of this down. It's kind of good hanging over this over this little dish that was grandma's. I like it hanging over the dish because that's how it would be if you were bringing flowers in from your garden and you put all this stuff together, you probably would have some of the stuff hanging over too. Kind of gives a base for it. You see, it kind of gives a base so that it's got some place to go. Um, I'm gonna put a touch of that over here and we'll just wet it and see I can use my dirty water and just blend it together. How about that? Now that I see what I'm seeing, I am thinking I need I need to come in here 
with some of this and just scroll it around and fix these greens. You know, there are so many colors of greens. It is, it's a challenge when you start doing a landscape and you want to add your greens. It's a challenge to decide what colors of green you want. Now see in this little stuff, I want a little bit of that dark green. And some of that will kind of bleed because it's wet. It doesn't matter, it's kind of pretty. Oh my, I kind of like it. It just adds a touch, doesn't it? Huh? I kind of think it does. Boy, you know what? My husband will soon, very soon be entered. I, I would imagine this week he will be ordering all of our seeds for our garden so we can plant our garden and I have lots of perennials so I'm gonna have I wish you could come by and I would give you a bouquet of my flowers I would I would love to do that you know what I think what I'm gonna do while the, I've got this wonderful dirty water I'm gonna fix some oh yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna fix a base to this thing we need to have this thing sitting on something. It needs to be sitting on the on the table. So let's so you know my shadow color. I'm gonna come in here with cobalt blue with that brown. Can't beat that cobalt blue. And we're gonna put some more dirty water with it. And I'm gonna take some of this brown and we're gonna blend it together. We're gonna fix us a little bit of a table here. Wow not too bad I and you know even though it's sitting there it's got to have some it's that table's got to come up further so I'm gonna I'm gonna have it come clear up here I think it needs to be coming back here so I'm gonna blend this right over those flowers I'm not gonna worry about it we will just come back in and touch up where we need to and I'm gonna use this dirty water and we'll blend some blue with that and we will get us a table here in two shapes. How about that? In fact, what did I say about using a big brush? Good thing to use a big brush, so we'll do it. Okay, and we need a touch of blue with that. Oh my, okay. You know, you, you always want to have your things sitting. They need to be sitting, they don't want to be floating, so that's why I'm trying to fix this table so it's not floating. So we'll come in here as we need to, and maybe when we frame it, we'll crop it about here. You know, when I when I frame things, I, I may have told you this before, but if I've told you, maybe you don't mind me telling you again. I really like to try to have things fixed so they are three sides of it coming out from the edge of the painting. So I would crop it here, I would crop this, I would crop it here, and I, I really like to have edges coming out. I think what it does is it helps you to come into the painting rather than just, now I want to decide where that is, it's right about there. Okay, so we're going to put some brown with that and some more water because we want it to run. And this is our table, and I'm going to not worry about coming off of that. Now, now because this is a clear base, I want to show you how I'm going to do that because I want that table to show through that clear base. So I'm going to come in here very, very carefully, and I'm going to put just... A few little marks but then I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, then I'm gonna blot it because I still want it to show up and I may have to work on that some more we'll see what happens with that sometimes it kind of when it's wet it kind of takes care of itself so that's kind of fun I'll, I'll cover this up down here but I think I'm really gonna want it just pretty much uh, crop that from the bottom when we mat it and frame it. Well, you know what? I want to add a little bit more to those flowers. Those flowers need to have some, some uh, how can you have something without some detail? I know it's alright to, oh my, look at that green. 
I manufactured some kind of another color green, so we'll just stick it in there and roll my flower, my brush around so it looks like it's on purpose to be there. How about that? I kind of like that. I, I don't know, I, you know why it's like that? It's because my new gamboge got dirty. It got dirty. That happens. You know, it does happen when you haven't cleaned your brush good when you go into your paint. Now that's one thing that is good. If you're painting and you're taking your time, it's good to clean your brushes in between so that you don't get all of your other paint stuff dirty. Okay, so let's see. Maybe what I need is I need to get a little bit of this. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Okay. This, this is the quinacridone gold. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of detail, not a bunch. I'm not gonna overdo it because if I do, I'd be painting on this thing for lots of hours. Cause that's, that's kind of how I like to paint. I like to do things in layers. I really do. I think it adds an awful lot to do layers. But when we're doing, when I'm doing the videos for you, I can't do as much layers but if I was doing this painting and you weren't watching me I would do layers and layers many layers because when you the reason I like layers um, when you paint in layers if you're painting with transparent watercolors it really um, it will let the color underneath shine through. It just does. It's just, it's really neat how that happens. And so I do like to paint in layers. So um, I would challenge you to, to try to do that. Now, when you paint in layers, there's a variety of ways to do it. One of the things that you can do when you're painting in layers is you can just paint it. And then while it's still a little bit damp, you can add another little bit of something but something that's really good to do. Now you've seen me paint with some of these things of wetting it first and then I'll come and paint something else. But if, if I wanted to really detail this particular flower, after it's totally dry and it's not cool anymore to my touch, then I would come in and I would wet it with my brush with just water, just water. And then I would come back in, and while it's wet, I would come back in with another color, and I would sharpen it up. See, I would do that after I had wet it. Now, this is not the way that a lot of people paint, but I really like doing it because you can let the underneath color show. I'm not going to touch that anymore because now I'm going to get it busier and I will be painting like I was painting it. And that's not what I'm trying to show you today, but I do like to paint in layers. So if you find that you can do that, you know, like kind of fun. Now look at how dark I had that, so dark underneath that thing. And look how it's already gotten all lightened up. So I'm gonna come back in with some cobalt blue and a little bit of brown, just a little bit of brown, but it's mostly cobalt blue. I'm gonna come right underneath that thing. And I'm gonna darken that again because I want that thing sitting in the same way with this little guy. I want him sitting. So I'm gonna, now because I want it to be dark, I see I may have to do this again because it lightens up so much. So I'm gonna come in with my other brush and I'm gonna leave it dark right there, but the very bottom part I'll pull. I'll just leave it kind of kind of loose, but pull it. Well, you know what? Oh, look. It's hard for me to quit on this thing. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this poppy in on this thing. I want just a little bit de detail. Please don't make me paint without detail, but you might like to paint. You know, it might be good for you just to try something like this, just for fun. Just so, you know, it doesn't really have to look exactly like that. But I I see, I've got to put some green in here. I've got to do some green here. 
this this has got to have some more green. I don't I don't like that bin. Now I'll blot that so that it's not quite as dark. But I think I'm about ready to call it quits. And then you know what? I'm gonna set this thing up on the counter, and I'll look at this thing this week, and, and I'll probably find more things. Oh, Verla, why didn't you do such and such? So. I may do some changing on it, but it's kind of fun. Uh, I don't think it's any, it's not my favorite, but you know what? It might be somebody else's favorite. Some people like stuff loose. Now see, if you notice that, right at the bottom, see how this paper is buckling, how it's buckling up? When you get it really wet like that, it does that. And so it's making some when it makes little lines like that from where your paper has been too wet, it that's balloons. It's called balloons. It's not because that's buckling up. It's balloons. And some people like balloons, and some people leave their balloons, but I don't like balloons. You know what? I've got to do that. Oh, I promise I'll quit shortly. I'm going to do a little bit of poppy on this little guy. I, I've got to have just a little bit of detail on this little guy. He, he needs to have a little bit of lines. Just just a tiny bit, please. You know, I, I don't want him to be, oh, left out like he doesn't know where he belongs. Okay? And, you know, I'm going to come in here with a little bit of green hanging over. I want a little bit more green hanging over here. You know, so see, here goes my layers. See how you can keep coming back in here with layers? It's just... It's just the way it works. Well, it works that way because that's the way I like to paint. So, anyway, there's our picture for the day. You know what? I want to see. I don't know how this mat will look, but let's try it. This is just kind of an off-white mat. Let's see, and I'm not sure how we would mat it, but it might be kind of fun to Oh, wow. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Is that kind of fun? Huh, I'm not too sure what color mat I would choose for it because you don't, whenever you frame, you want your frame to complement your picture, but you don't want your frame to, you don't want it to make you just look at, look at the eye, uh, make your eyes look at just the frame. You want to look at the picture. So think of a frame, and sometimes it takes quite a while to find where a frame fits. But I kind of think I like that. Well, that's kind of fun. I hope you had fun today. I look forward to seeing you next time. But it's probably going to be on 140 pound watercolor paper because that's what I like best. But at least I've given you a chance to see the 300 pound and you may find you like it. So try it. You know, that's the only way. Nothing happens if we don't try. Okay, you have a good day. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like and I'd appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you.